at this exhibition. I've got about seven shows that I worked on, so I'm very excited to be here. It's quite wonderful. I'm excited to be here. I'm like a kid in a candy store because I'm looking at Sam Crenshaw and Muffy, yeah. and they were and they wrote you. That's you. Well, I was Muffy. I played Muffy for seven years, 120 shows, and uh, Bob Dermer played Sam Crenshaw. So, how do you get into a character that is a puppet? Oh, uh, well, I'm a third generation puppeteer, second generation TV puppeteer, and um, I don't know, you get, you get the script, you start to look at it, you see what kind of character you could make out of it, and um, then you get either build the puppet yourself or you, or you have a puppet that's built for you, and it just sort of comes about, it evolves, and it actually can evolve over a year of shooting, and it starts to change, actually, yeah. I'm of a certain vintage that I, it was magical when today's special came on. I remember being glued a few inches away from my television, from my little television set. How do you, do you like, do, did you connect with the children who were watching that show? Were you ever, ever able to sort of, it's not like you have an audience in front of you that you can feed back off, right? Like, is that different than a, a typical acting experience? It's, it's very different doing a TV series because we rarely see children. I mean, on Mr. Dress Up, uh, Friendly Giant, there were rarely children in the studio and and uh, so you, you just, you know, you look, we look at monitors. We have to see what the camera is seeing, what the camera is seeing, what the kids are seeing at home. And so you just play to that, really. And uh, that, that's about it. It's fun to do. We did a live show with Today's Special. And then we're getting this incredible feedback, which we weren't used to. And it was quite overwhelming, actually. It was, it was fantastic. What, tell me about that because you were also on camera as a human being, not as a puppet, <laughs> right? Um, so what was that like? And, and, and did you ever get to see the Pokeroo? Uh, I was the first host on, on the polka dot door at TVO. And the thing about the Pokeroo is that whenever one of the hosts left, they came back in the Pokeroo costume. I knew it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> And that's not something I ever want to endure again. <laughs> it's wearing wearing the Pokeroo costume, but uh, that was a fun show to do. Yeah. What is it about children's programming? Do you think that that uh, attracted you to it? But also, what, what power do you think it holds uh, for, for for kids? Well, I was a, I apprenticed on The Friendly Giant when I was 11 because my parents were doing, had, had built puppets for that. And so I was, I kind of got into that pretty well full time about 10 years later. And uh, I just, I just think that we have such power as, as people on television, um, how you can mold children's minds so easily. So it's a great responsibility to to I think be on television for children and and teaching them all the the right things and the kind things and and s most of the shows I worked on um, I mean Friendly and Mr. Dress Up were definitely like that and um, yeah it was all about kindness and Fred Rogers you know he sh he shot up here um, at the beginning for Mr. Rogers um, and so yeah I just and I had a little kid myself when I was doing today's special so I think I felt even more uh, of a responsibility to to be a, a good example and role model for kids. I'm just looking around and all these outfits and it's just it's bringing back so many memories right everything's so iconic Muffy, Sam Crenshaw, the Pokeroo. We, we, do we still have that? I mean, the television has evolved so much since then. I mean, what what do you see as the future of, of children's programming and, and where it goes from here? It's interesting. I I, I feel like there's more um, animation now than maybe there was, and I know that animation put a lot of puppeteers out of business when we were doing commercials and film and that sort of thing. So the CGI and 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 all of that. Um, is sort of coming into play a lot more when I watch TV with my grandchildren. Um, I don't know where it's going. I don't know what will come next. It's a terrible answer, isn't it? <laughs> I have nothing profound to say at this point. I guess I wonder, like, do you do you think, because so many of these programs were educational, right? Like, the, it was education under, under the guise of entertainment. It's Sesame Street, I'm thinking of as well. You know, programs like that. Like, do, have we lost that, that element of education through uh, entertainment in children's programming? Well, I, in the TV that I'm watching now, because I have grandchildren, otherwise I wouldn't probably be watching kids' TV, I'm finding that the same messages are coming through. I'm finding that things are a lot more inclusive now. I mean, it was pretty white 
back then, you know? And I just love the idea that we've got our indigenous programming and we've got all this inclusive programming that is reflecting the Canadian mosaic, right? And, and we didn't have that so much back then. So I'm very happy about that. And finally, uh, as you sort of look back on your career, is there, is there one character that you really miss? <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to say that Muffy was the most fun to perform because we got to sing, we had an album, it was nominated for a Juno, um, even dancing when you're, when you're puppeteering under the scene, dancing with Jeff the mannequin, uh, Muffy was, and sitting on a box that's got wheels on it and actually dancing with Jeff. Um, all that kind of stuff was so much fun. And we had a lot of wonderful guests on our show too, like Oscar Peterson, a great jazz great, um, things, people like that. And that was pretty exciting. You have had quite a unique career. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Oh, you're welcome, Omar. Thank you.